If you guys are stuck within the realm of retrofit dynamic partition ROMs and if you are having a lot of problem to go back then this video is for you. So to go back to normal partition ROMs, the steps are pretty simple. As you can see, I'm already using dynamic partition ROM. I forgot to show the recovery version, but as you can see, I get the option to unmap super devices, which is not available in normal one. So the first step is to flash normal recovery via recovery mode or fast boot mode, whatever you prefer. I'm flashing it from recovery. As you can see, make sure the recovery version is correct and then just flash it. After flashing, the phone will reboot automatically into recovery and here we can see I don't have the option to unmap super devices and the recovery version is this. After flashing recovery then just wipe system data both cache and vendor. If you see something like this then don't worry just format the data and without formatting data you won't be able to flash ROMs. So make sure to format data. Also backup data before formatting as it will erase the internal storage. And then we can flash the ROM. I'm flashing afterlife project with gapps which is in my SD card. So after flashing is done, make sure to change data and cache partition to ext4 by going into menu and then manage partition. Data partition will be already ext4 if you formatted it already. So we just need to change cache partition and that's it. Now I'm just checking if the partition are fine or not. So after flashing and changing partition to ext4 then format data once more as sometimes it fails to boot if you format data before flashing. Lastly reboot the device and the phone should boot fine as you can see. So that's how you leave the realm of dynamic partition ROMs. One more thing is that the review of Afterlife project will be coming soon. So make sure to subscribe so that you won't miss it. So that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Also leave a comment and like on this video.